In today's video, boys, we go ahead and check out the new fire SBC for none other than Gavi. Gavi is an 88 rated card who stands at 5 foot 8, has high high work rates, right footed with 5 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. Now we do see a bit of versatility with the card, which is always great to see. He can play the center mid, center attacking mid, and left wing positions. If we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, boys, we can see that the card is extremely well rounded. He has 84 pace with 85 acceleration and 83 sprint speed. 78 shooting is an okay stat. Now with his high high work rates, you do want him to be a bit of an attacking threat as well. He does have really good attack positioning at 94 83 finishing an okay stat 70 shot power not too great and then also 82 long shots 89 passing a phenomenal stat for a center mid he does have 95 vision with 96 short pass and 94 long pass his passing in game should be very accurate 91 dribbling is obviously where the card is going to go ahead and excel the most especially with his five star skill moves 92 agility 96 balance he should be really quick and swift on the ball the only problem with this dribbling is probably going to be his 80 composure that's not that great of a stat to be completely honest now if you do want to go ahead and use him as a box to box midfielder 70 78 defending and 79 physicality are two okay stats he does have really good interceptions at 90 only 68 defensive awareness and 88 stand tackle and then for his physicality he does have really good stamina 90 as a box-to-box -box midfielder should be no problem 70 strength and then also 92 aggression if we jump on over to footpin boys we can see that gavi does have eight different play styles he has the first touch play style plus tiki taka slide tackle technical rapid flare trickster and relentless a lot of his play styles do revolve around his dribbling now when it comes to chemistry styles boys it's going to come down to how you do want to go ahead and use him in game now as you guys know he does have high high work rates and if you do want him to be maybe a bit more of an attacking threat then i would personally go ahead and recommend the hunter it's going to give him the explosive acceleration type with 92 pace and 84 shooting now if you do want him to be a bit better defensively in game then the obvious option is to go ahead and give him the shadow chem style it's going to give him the same 92 pace and then it's also going to give him 85 defending he's going to have 98 interceptions a phenomenal stat right there 72 defensive awareness not too great uh 96 stand tackle and 94 slide tackle defensively should be quite solid as well as always, boys, if you guys do enjoy these FC24 player reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. This is a team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new Gavi card. We're going to be playing him at the center mid position as a box-to-box -box midfielder in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see is this SBC worth it. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number one. And I must say I'm quite excited to test this card out. We are coming up against Hansen. Keen, uh, De Jong, Bellingham, Pedri, Gomez, Thiago, Silva. It's a very solid team. Now, first things first, boys, let's go ahead and test out the car's dribbling. The dribbling is going to be the standout stat, especially with his five-star skill moves. And as you guys can see, man, yeah, he's going to be very quick and swift on the ball. But like I said, because we are going to be using him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, we're going to have to test out his defensive capabilities as well. Gavi, that's a decent pass. Now, using him as a more offensive center mid is going to be really good because he's always going to make he's always going to make these types of runs. Little ball roll, send him. Four-star weak foot. Is just wide, boys. So I think his finishing is going to be is gonna need to be a lot better in game. That's a decent attempt. I really like the attacking positioning. Gabi. Okay, the acceleration sprint speed could be a little bit better. As you guys can see right there, the physicality isn't great. Got pushed off the ball really easily. Got tracked back a little bit. Good tackle right there from Gavi. We'll take it. I'm gonna go ahead and take his space. Might try to get Rodrigo in behind. He hasn't really covered the run. That's a great pass, man. His passing is gonna be a huge part to his game. And he's going to get himself an assist. That's what we need him to do, man. Be a bit of a playmaker. Ooh, probably should be getting the interception right there. Unlucky. His interceptions are probably going to be the standout stat. There we go. That's much better. And right here, I'm just going to try to get him in behind again. He has really good attacking positioning. That's nice. Gavi. Decent sprint speed. We'll go for a shot. That's much better, boys. That is a fantastic finish right there. His attacking positioning is going to be huge. And obviously, we did go ahead and give the card the Hunter Kemp style, so you can expect his attacking positioning and finishing to be a lot better in game. Gavi in a very advanced position. We'll go ahead and give it to him. Left stick dribbling. Very nice right there. Just going to try to get away from Kyle Walker. That's good, man. The acceleration isn't half bad either. He's not the most quick. In, he's not the most quick players, but he can definitely get the job done. Nice little body feint. We'll try to play it across. It's a good cutback, boys. His passing has probably been the standout stat so far. As you guys can see right there, man, with this high attacking work rates, he's in a very advanced position, almost playing like a center forward. Nice little drop of the shoulder. Decent acceleration. We'll go for a finesse shot off of the crossbar. Okay, so his finishing's not bad, but it is a bit inconsistent in my opinion. Gavi, nice. Gonna try to get him in behind again. The runs that he makes are really good. That's phenomenal, man. From a center mid. That's lovely, man. Great dribbling right there. I like the runs that he makes for, as a center mid. They're very useful. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. I do think that he has a lot of attributes that suit the center mid position really well. 
Sometimes when you come up against teams like this, it is a bit scary. This guy's probably really good. But yeah, boys, so far going forward, he has been really solid in my opinion, especially with his five-star skill moves and really high dribbling. As a playmaker, man, you can create a lot of chances with him. Defensively, he's been okay. He could be a lot better defensively. I can't lie. I wouldn't play him as a center mid in like a 4-4-2 or like a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. I feel like his lack in composure kind of throws us off a little bit. Again, the interception probably should be intercepting that. I think this guy's playing the 4-2-3-1. So we don't have a lot of space. Chouameni. Gavi, I like the run right there. Little pass into Rodrigo. His passing has been the standout stat, boys. His passing as a center mid, very nice. Go ahead and play short. We'll give it back to him. Maybe test out a ball roll, Trivella. No way. Okay, boys. So he doesn't have the greatest of long shots and shot power, but the ball roll, Trivella, seems to be really useful with the card. That's a great finish. See if maybe get like a defensive tackle. I'm actually going to track back right here with Gavi. The manual defending is okay. That's a decent tackle. Gavi through the middle. Lovely pass into Sterling. Takes it around the goalkeeper. That's another great assist, man. That is an incisive pass right there. Good tackle right there on Neymar as well. I definitely think that you can use him as a box-to-box -box in a three. Another great ball again. Ah, that's a good tackle, man. This guy defensively is good. Rodrigo. Gavi's making that run over top. I think he's onside. Finesse shot to the near post. That's a lovely play, man. Good attacking positioning and a lovely finish as well. The one thing that I like about the card, he does have 90 stamina. So all these runs forward and runs back, you can definitely cover. That's a decent little interception. Okay, the interception is definitely the standout like defensive stat. Gavi, good control. I feel like the composure isn't that big of a problem. Because the rest of his dribbling stats are really nice. Over the top again. The runs from the center mid position are so useful, man. And again, the finishing just being a tad inconsistent, boys. Abby, we can take the ball forward. Decent dribbling again. Oh, it's actually some pretty decent sprint speed and acceleration. We'll go all the way with him. Ball roll Trivella. Why not? Decent shape to it. I probably should have just kept going right there and just taken an easy finish. That's my bad. Left stick dribbling. Decent shielding right there. All the way. We'll go for a pow power shot this time. Gavi. Ooh, come on, boys. I'm not saying that you're going to score every long shot with Gavi, but there's definitely a few that can go in. We'll try it again. Ooh, that one's just wide. But yeah, boys, his long shots are a bit useful in game. They're not the most consistent, and they're not going to go in every time. But you will get a few shots that find the back of the net. Gavi should pick up possession for us. Test out some more R1 dribbling. Yeah, boys, that's good. Very quick, very swift. All the way. Four-star weak foot. Yeah, boys, the finishing in and around the box isn't great. Nice. Good ball control. Possession right here. Gavi, decent dribbling, ball roll, Trivella, good shape to it, that's a goal, yeah, his Trivellas are low-key, kind of cracked, gave us a little bit of space, Gavi, touch, ooh, bit of a loose touch right there, maybe the composure just lacking a little bit, Ooh, -hoo! boys, that's nice, Gavi all the way, that's good, boys, I feel like as a more attacking-minded center mid, and like a 4-3-2-1, He's very, very useful. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Fire Gavi SBC card in two games of Foot Champions. In those two games, we managed to get seven goals and also two assists with the card, which is actually a pretty decent return. Now, as you guys probably already know, in order to complete the SBC, it is an 87 and 86 and then also an 84 rated team. So you're looking at around 200,000 coins. And for that price, I do think that you're getting a pretty solid card, boys. 88 rated, very well-rounded, high, high work rates, five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. If we go ahead and dissect the in-game stats in a bit more detail, I feel like the card does have some really good attributes to make him a really solid center mid now we did go ahead and give the card a hunter chem style so he does have 93 acceleration with 91 sprint speed but in game he wasn't the quickest of players if i'm being completely honest now with the hunter chem style he does have 98 attacking positioning with 91 finishing and 74 shot power and in game his finishing was okay a tad bit inconsistent in my opinion his long shots weren't too bad either i feel like his trivelas although don't go in every time there's definitely the um the threat going forward 89 passing and 91 dribbling were the two stands Standout stats in my opinion the 96 short pass and 94 long pass really nice his passing in game was very accurate and then the 91 dribbling had to be the standout stat in my opinion 92 agility 96 balance and 92 reactions he was very quick and swift on the ball which is really important for a center mid the 78 defending was okay as a box-to-box -box midfielder his defending could maybe be a bit better his interceptions were really good and his stand tackle was okay and then the 79 physicality if you do want to go ahead and play him like as a center mid in like a 4-4-2 I feel like that's not a great option because it could be a bit overpowering 
Kamavarin coming up against like Patrick Vieira, Jude Bellingham, Mateus, players like that. But if you do want to go ahead and play him like as a center mid in a midfield three, then I think that that's going to be very useful, especially if you do want to go ahead and use him as a more attacking minded center mid. Overall, boys, with the cost of the SBC being roughly 200,000 coins, him being an 88 rated card with five star skill moves, four star weak foot, La Liga Santander, I'm probably going to give him like an 8.6 out of 10 rating. But with team of the year around the corner and us getting so many different evolutions, we're supposed to get an icon evolution very soon. Um, if you don't complete the SBC, it's not the end of the world. But if you do go ahead and complete the SBC, it is a solid player in game, that's for sure. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Boys, if you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new, boys. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy, Booba, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.